Hi, I'm Brad Johns. I'm the MLA for the constituency of Sackville Beaver Bank. I'm honored to be here today to make a endorsement as well as the introduction of my good friend, Angela Conrad. Angela is seeking the nomination for our federal riding of Sackville, Preston, Cheson Cook, and I'm honored to be here today to introduce her. I've known Angela now for about six, for six years, and not only has uh, she helped me out in previous campaigns, but her and her whole family have become personal friends. I'm so glad to finally see that we are going to have a candidate who is going to stand up for us in Ottawa and represent this federal riding, and most certainly, Angela is that person. Hello everyone. Thank you to Brad Johns, MLA for Sackville Beaver Bank, for such a warm welcome and introduction. My name is Angela Conrad, and I am seeking the nomination for the candidacy of Sackville Preston Chesicook of the Conservative Party of Canada. I'm going to talk about three topics today. First, I'll discuss who I am. Second, I'll go through my qualifications for why I'm running in this riding. Third, I'd like to talk about how I will best represent you in this riding. To start, I'll talk about who I am. I'm a wife of 22 years. Dave and I have raised three beautiful children up to be teenagers on the brink of adulthood. They're very different but at the same time, very similar. We've had lots of discussions on mom running in politics, how that's going to play out. They're all behind me, and I really appreciate their support. I was fortunate enough to have a home-based design business while raising our children. We felt it was important to us as a family to have one of us at home while the kids were small. Five years ago, as they had grown and no longer needed my help or support as much, an opportunity came up in the corporate world and I jumped at the chance to get back fully into the workforce. I've lived in this riding for 20 years with Dave. He grew up here with his family. As a self-employed mother of three, I was afforded the opportunity to get heavily involved in the community. It started with school and church, I would go on as many school trips as possible. I would help out in the classroom. I was a nursery worker at church. I taught Sunday school. I even took on a leadership role in our church. As the kids grew, they got involved in sports. That offered a lot more opportunities. People are always looking for helpers on sporting teams and bringing food to events, you name it. I even got involved in coaching at the junior high level. Now let me tell you, hurting teenage girls in a gymnasium, I never thought that, that would help improve my leadership skills, but lo and behold, here I am, a better person, because I got to be that junior high coach. For my second point, I'd like to talk about my qualifications for running in this riding and my reasons behind it. Several years ago, I got quite active in politics. I joined the provincial board. A year later, I also joined the federal board. Provincially, I've held positions as a board member, secretary, vice president. I had the volunteer of the year award for 2018. Currently, I'm the president of our local riding, Waverly Fall River Beaver Bank. I've been on the Federal Executive Board for a number of years now as well. I believe this involvement in both federal and provincial politics is a major asset to our riding. I know many of the MLAs and councillors in our area. Having open communication and dialogue among different levels of government can only help to serve you better as constituents. Being in touch with people from Sackville Uniac, Sackville Cobbequid, parts of Eastern Shore, parts of Cole Harbor, Eastern Passage, 
Preston, my own riding of Waverly Fall River Beaverbank, is a step in the right direction to represent you better and what you want to see out of our government. Touching again on my work life, when I switched careers five years ago, I finally found the place where I could have an avenue to truly utilize the desire that I have for helping people. I became the voice on our team for those that were timid. When people had a problem, they would call Angela Conrad. When people had something that was driving them nuts, they would call Angela Conrad. When people wanted to see change, it needed to be brought up at a management level. That's right, they call Angela Conrad. I'm reliable, passionate, strong-willed, and willing to stand up for what is right. I want to be that person for you in our government. This leads me to our final point. Let's talk politics and how I will best represent you in our riding. I would be remiss if I didn't talk about the military population in Sackville, Preston, Chesapeake. There are a lot. I have military friends and neighbors, some who are now veterans. I see the sacrifices they've made. It is incredible. The missed birthdays, holidays, other special events, gone months at a time. I've been the taxi driver, taking the second child that needs to be on the other side of town. I've sent my husband to plow a driveway and to fix a mower in the summer. We need to do things for these people. They are in our community and we are a community. We have to be that community together and help each other. Our military stands up for us. We need to stand up for them. We need to be proud of our veterans and their rights. Federally, we need to take responsibility for those who have served us. We need to ensure they have proper access to physical and mental health care. No matter where they live in the country. Being a conservative, fiscal responsibility is at the top of my list. I believe with proper care and attention, we can be fiscally responsible while leaving the services that are in place for our veterans and our growing senior population. On the topic of healthcare, I'd like to specifically discuss mental health. This one's near and dear to my heart as our own family continues to work through our own mental health issues. I know healthcare is a provincial topic. However, the Conservative Party is putting together a plan to provide support and funding to provinces specifically in this area. I'm happy it's at the forefront of people's minds. We shouldn't be afraid to talk about it. Mental health is an important issue and I'm glad that it's begun to be addressed. I couldn't talk conservative politics without bringing up the economy. It's an important topic. It's also a touchy topic in the midst of a pandemic. I have concerns about the future of our country. I worry about my own children not having the ability to buy their own home. I worry that the money that was doled out through COVID didn't have enough checks and balances in place. We need to stop the spending. We need to get into a phase of recovery. This is a conservative mandate I can truly get behind. Ensuring that we have a secure future for generations to come. These are some of the political items that I believe are high on the priority list to focus on. However, I want to hear your thoughts. You have my contact information. I've reached out to each of you. Use it. 
If I leave you with nothing else today, I want you to know this. I plan on representing this riding the way you want to be represented. I truly want to be the voice for Sackville Preston Cheswick. We're proud East Coasters. Angela Conrad isn't going to Parliament to bring her own agenda. Angela Conrad is going to Parliament to be one voice that represents the many. If you want the best candidate to represent you in Ottawa, now's the chance. It's not a small ask. It's a drive on a Sunday afternoon. It might be sunny. There may be a lineup. It's a drive to Beaver Bank or Eastern Passage to participate in a drive through vote. This is the time to make a difference and vote for me to represent you in this riding of Sackville Preston Chesapeake. So here I stand, Angela Conrad, wife and mother, community volunteer, entrepreneur, political activist, military supporter, mental health activist, with a desire for fiscal responsibility and growth in our economy, asking for your vote in this nomination. Please join me. Thank you.